This is the kind of hemodialysis work Nika Reyes planned to do when she moved to Winnipeg from the Philippines in 2015. But that's not how it turned out. It was a two to three years process and it wasn't, um, I cannot see the end of the tunnel. Reyes applied to work in Ontario and Manitoba, but she failed the listening portion of her English language assessment by one mark. Last fall, that benchmark changed, which meant she would have passed. But by then, it was too late. Paid so much, wasted so much of my time. Reyes moved to Tennessee, passed her licensure exam, and is working in her chosen field. I love what I'm doing. It's hard to know how many internationally trained nurses are in Canada struggling to get accredited, unable to work in their fields, or help with the current health care crisis. We do know in Ontario in 2020 alone, 12,000 nurses were in that situation. And here's the thing, while they're waiting, provincial governments are investing in recruiting trips to bring even more of them to Canada. Ang Saskatchewan ay nasa... Saskatchewan was there in December. The Filipino community is strong and vibrant. Manitoba has a delegation there this week. Mga kababayan, come to friendly Manitoba. Before he left, the minister said he's looking to renegotiate Manitoba's memorandum of understanding with the Philippine government. So that uh, we can ensure uh, the well-being of Manitobans being serviced by these nurses, but also uh, the well-being of those Philippine nurses when they're coming here. Which brings us back to the question of those internationally trained nurses already here who are waiting. I feel the weight of that every day. This is the woman responsible for filling up to 2,000 vacant nursing spots in Manitoba. She's recruiting in the Philippines this week, but hasn't forgotten the IENs back home. I need them as well, and I want them in the workplace as much as I do the nurses we're recruiting from the Philippines. Manitoba's health minister says she's working with regulatory bodies to make the accreditation process more efficient. Don't leave Manitoba. Things are getting better. <laughs> Nika Reyes misses her family and friends in Winnipeg, but she's not coming back. Canada is a good country, but uh, for the nursing profession, it is not, um, it's, it's not a friendly country for nurses. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.